like an overnight success, Guitar Hero turned the PlayStation 2 into an electric ego trip, and the console has been on a worldwide tour ever since. Now, they're stopping in Microsoft's neck of the woods to play the Xbox 360. The next-gen version of Guitar Hero 2 has 10 new songs, one new peripheral to play them on, and thousands of gamer tags looking to knock your name around the new online leaderboards. Does all this set the stage for a successful port, or will the lack of anticipated features leave fans feeling out of tune? <laughs> The setlist says that there are ten new songs, but there are really only eight that you're going to care about. Two of them are independent tracks from the bands Ounce of Self and Noble Rot. They're fun rebel anthems to jam to, but nothing you'll recognize unless you happen to follow those bands. The other eight new licks add up to an eclectic mix of rock's past, present, and future. No one is going to appreciate all of them equally, but you're sure to find one you haven't heard before that you can't stop playing, and one near and dear to you whose expert version will taunt and tease as you work your way to a five-star rank. The best thing about the new songs is that they've been added to the available tracks instead of replacing any of them. This means there are now six songs in each tier, which gives you plenty of point-gathering opportunities per level. What if you don't like any of the new songs or the new guitar? You can show everyone on Xbox Live how you've memorized the PS2 songs by obliterating everyone's score on the online leaderboards. All of your achievements are now tracked and stacked against the competition. You no longer have to post your home videos on the internet. Unless you're blindfolded, of course. While it's satisfying for your friends to see what you've done in the game, it would be incredible if you could actually play with them online. The co-op and competitive multiplayer that was graciously refined in Guitar Hero 2 is screaming at the top of its lungs to rock out over Xbox Live, but its cries fall on deaf ears. The mode might make a belated appearance sometime in the future via downloadable content, but we can't imagine a better reason to bring Guitar Hero to the 360, and resonant rockers will have to split their HD screens for the time being. Can you The thing that makes the game feel different is the exclusive white Gibson Explorer inspired guitar. The new five button instrument is smaller than its black and red counterparts, but now its buttons feel sturdier. Lazy virtual musicians can now rest their arm on the top right fin, but people used to the PS2 peripherals might feel a bit cramped with a new controller. That and the left side of the shoulder strap clips onto the back of the guitar instead of the side like before, so the strap can feel slightly uncomfortable out of the box. It's still infinitely rockable. And the new style is an 80s throwback that's definitely appreciated. The first time we heard about Guitar Hero 2 on the Xbox 360, we thought, sweet, we'll finally get to play Guitar Hero online. The new guitar is cool, the new songs are amusing, there's downloadable treats on the way, and the game itself is hours and hours of fun, even though you always feel a lot cooler than you look. With that said, the lack of online play is a huge disappointment and a glaring example of missed opportunity. If you've already strummed through the PS2 version, only get it for the 360 if you're dying for new material. If you've never played Guitar Hero 2 at all, then for those about to rock the next generation, we salute.